while you're trying to build a social media website like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram? Well, you're going to need an authentication. And the easiest way to do that is to use Google Firebase authentication. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to implement Google Firebase authentication as easy as possible. So keep watching. So here's the demo. I have an email, 123.gmail.com, and the password, 123.123, again. And I'll say that the, the, that the user is signed in. Test123 at gmail.com is signed in. Now let's refresh the page. So when we refresh the page, we don't have to uh, log in again, right? So it persists. So if we log out, it will log out. And if we refresh, we have to log back in because we logged out earlier, right? So let's go for one. And we can also register. Register, let's say, you can see at gmail.com, one, two, three, one, two, three, sign up. And as you can see, once we sign up, it will automatically sign in. Let's refresh the page. And now, and as you can see, we don't have to log back in unless we log out. Perfect. Now let's get into coding. First things first, we're going to create our app file, React app. And we're just going to call it Firebase, uh, Firebase dash off, right? Perfect. Well, that's installing. Uh, let's go to our Firebase and make sure they have a Firebase account. Uh, so for this one, we're just gonna add add a new project. I'm going I'm just gonna call it Firebase dash auth. Right. Continue. Now, if you will publish uh, or deploy this website, I recommend uh, enabling this so that you can see the analytics. Uh, click an account. Default Firebase account, continue. Firebase. Uh, Firebase. Uh, tutorial. Yeah, this one. Uh, in the Firebase dash auth. Once once when it finish, when once the project's ready, all we have to do is uh click continue. And then since we're doing since we're doing website, click website and then for the right for the app nickname, I'm just gonna call it the Firebase that uh the uh, tutorial, right? Register app. And then here, well we have uh we have one package to install, right? Uh, and that is Firebase. That's all we have to install. So once the once we created the file, all we have to do, all we have to do is C D Firebase dash auth tutorial dot since i'm using vs code i can do that if you are not then you can just feel free uh to use anything any idea you want it should work the same right all right so here i'm just gonna clean up the file uh, i'm gonna remove the files that i don't need so for example this this and this i'm just gonna delete perfect Let's get ins inside public. We don't need these these files, so we can just remove them, right? So delete. Perfect. Now let's get into index.css. Delete that. Save. App.css. Delete that. Save. Perfect. Now let's run our code and make sure that everything works. Now let's npm install Firebase. So let's, let's do npm install Firebase since we're doing since we're using Firebase, right? All right. So once that's once that installing, all we have, what we need to do is add a Firebase.js file, and then let's go to our Firebase and just copy this config, copy it, and then paste that here. So I'm just gonna delete these comments. We don't need these comments and also the get analytics we don't need that save perfect so here what we need to do is import get auth from uh firebase firebase auth Right, and here we have to export const auth equals 
get of just one thing. Now that's all we need inside Firebase.js. We don't need to add anything else. So exit that out. Let's get into our uh, app.js. Perfect. So here you just get rid of this and let's do npm start. Perfect. All right. Now, here guys, I'm not, we're not doing CSS here. Uh, I just want to show you how Firebase auth works and you can play with the CSS later and make it beautiful. So I just want you to understand how Firebase works as easily as possible without CSS. So here we're going to do input text for our email and we also need an input text for our password and then two buttons for login and register right perfect So let's import uh, auth from our Firebase .js. Oops. Firebase. Perfect. And we're also going to use use state for those. Uh, so here we're going to use use state, right? For here, I'm going to do const email set email and then use state and Initially, it's going to be blank, so that will be blank, and then same thing for password. Set password. Perfect. So here, value is going to be email. On change, it's going to be handle email change. We can create the function later, and then here for the password, we're going to do value equals password and then on change handle password change perfect so here we are to we're gonna create two functions handle email email change and it's going to be set email it's going to be e dot target value we're gonna pass in e perfect and same thing for password handle password change seek set password perfect all right so so yeah. perfect and so we should be able to type and whatever this is it should be saved inside email and whatever this is it should be saved inside password right so that we can use email and password to sign in or uh, register, right? So first, so here, unclick. What I do is this sign in, and then we're gonna create a uh, function here called sign in, and also it will be an async. So here will be await, then sign in with email and. password so it will be the auth that we imported it will be the email and we have the password and then once we sign in what we want to do is clear the input text so set email to empty empty text and then set password to an empty input uh, text so here it's looking for uh, sign in with email and password that will come from uh firebase so what we're what we gonna have to do is import sign in with email and password from firebase that'll be firebase that off right save that here we're gonna create a listener using use effect for our listener we can we can use on auth state change is that here and it's going to be off on state boot is that it user so here what i'm basically saying is that if that every time something changes 
it'll just say if every time someone logs in logs out do this so here what i'm gonna do is just set user 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 and here const user set user but then use state Now what we need to do is just what we what we need to do is just import this effect. Perfect. So here what I'm gonna do is perfect. Now we can log in. So let's go to our Firebase.js, uh, click authentication, and let's get it started. We're gonna do email and password. You can also use Google if you want. Uh, there'll be a different video. Uh, just let me know if you guys want a video on that let's click save perfect now let's go to users now right now we don't have user uh so what we're gonna have to do is register now right now we don't have our we don't our register is not working so what we're gonna have to do is so what i like to do is once we click register i want it to say registering or something like that so here we do h1 plugging in perfect so here I'm gonna click. So here I'm gonna create a uh, is sign in. Set set is sign. Oh, not sign in. Sign up. And it will be false initially. Oops. Perfect. So here we're gonna. All I'm saying is, is sign up false or true? So what I'm saying is register. If we click, if we click register, I want sign up to be true, basically. Click. So here, on click, on click. I want to set is sign up to true. Now, here, what I'm gonna do is is sign up. If that's true, render this. If that's true, render render uh, render this registering. Else, render logging in. Perfect. Now let's click register. Perfect. Now once we click register, but actually, uh, it's gonna be like this. Registering. If that's false, then do this. Right. So here, if we are registering, I want an X button here, right? So register. So I'm gonna call it sign up and then here button will be an X and then on click we're just gonna set the set is sign up to false right oops save it perfect now if we click X it will go back to the previous state perfect h1 and then logging in nice register nice x nice so here if we again so here what i'm going to do is if there's an error what i'm going to do so let's say if we sign in and there's an error we want that error to alert the user so here if there's an error we catch the error and then all we have to do is alert the error that message perfect now let's try logging in asd whatever one two three, one, two, three. log in i will say that error auth invalid invalid email or that the email is not uh is not in their database so here let's work on registering what we're going to do 
register. And this is going to be an async and a wait. And then we're going to use Firebase function called create user with email and password. Right. Now, if there's an error, we want to just console log the error. Right. Save it. And then it's looking for create user with email. And we just import that like that, and perfect. Now, after we register, we want to set email to an empty string, and then same thing for the password. Perfect. All right, let's try registering. So I'm gonna just do ACHD, ACHD. Oh, so, so for sign up here, we're gonna do on click, and then register, perfect. So here we're going to do hd, hd, hd dot com, and then one two three one two three, and then sign up, and let's go to our Firebase, and then let's just refresh, and as you can see, we see our user account, All right? Perfect. So let's click X. So we know that register is working. What we have to do is signing in. Okay. So what we're going to do is once we signed in, I want uh this page to change right so here we take this here we're gonna take this ternary operation and we're gonna do if auth the current user is true do this render this div else then render the login page right Then here we're gonna we're gonna do auth current user the email going to be each one auth the current the user the email is signed in then here we're gonna do button to sign out. And on click, what we have to do is create another function called sign handle sign up. Sign up. Web off. And catch error. And then we're just going to console log that error save and then for sign up we're just gonna put the handle sign up perfect now let's, let's sign out perfect now let's sign out there we go now we just implemented a firebase of easy as that so we can register say test test.com one two three one two three Sign up. We're logged in as test at test.com is signed in. I sign out. There we go. And all I have to do is just log in. Two, three, one, two, three, log in. Perfect. Now that's it for Firebase authentication. I'm going to push this uh, code into my repo. You can check it out if you want.